Hello and good morning. Thank you for joining another moment of private transformation minutes. And um, I'm here in Amsterdam awaiting the connection of my flight to Atlanta and then to Omaha. And I um, just wanted to uh, follow up on some of the conversations that we've been having over the course of the last several weeks. Now, um, today I want to talk about friendship with a mentor. Now, before I go too far into this, let me just lay a quick foundation that many of us believe that it's not possible to be friends with a mentor. Um, it depends, and that is partially what I want to look at because these are some of the slippery slopes in the context of a mentor-mentee relationship that a lot of us um, do not have too much experience with or have not had much exposure with. Now, let me talk about this relationship a little bit. A mentor is somebody who is supposed to empower you, enable you, encourage you, um, build you up because they have experience, they have exposure. Um, and so it is a top-down kind of um, flow in, in, in that relationship. But at the same time, every good mentor understands that they can learn a lot from a protege. Now, I, there's a saying where I come from that says that the old can learn from the foolishness of the young, meaning that in what seems to be unreasonable or irrational or might seem foolish, the experience tend to learn from the naivety of the, um, of the younger. So there is still a lot that you can be able to um, share with your mentors. Now, how does that relationship work? I have mentors who, you know, they ask my opinion. They ask, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? In some cases, they're just trying to open up your mind to possibilities and allow you to think. Um, or, but in most cases, they are also trying to learn because they respect your opinion, they respect your experience, and they also understand that you have expertise in certain areas which is not their area of strength. So it is important for you to have that relationship with that mentor in order for you to be able to add value to them also on an ongoing basis. Now, your mentor in this context that I'm talking about may joke with you, may laugh with you, may you know, fall on the floor with you and share some very intimate moments, but it doesn't change the fact that there is a structure to that relationship. The structure I'm talking about is understanding that even though your mentor is your friend, he's someone or she is someone that you can relate to on every facet. You can talk about sports, you can talk about family, you can talk about, you know, you can even goof around and talk about things that you guys have gone through. You can share your secrets, share your um, struggles, your uh, be vulnerable with this person, but you do not forget that this person is supposed to be a top-down um, uh, position and be able to point to you. Now, there's a saying in scripture that, uh, there's a scripture that says that, you know, he who receives a prophet in the name of a prophet receives a prophet's reward, and he who receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man receives a righteous man's reward. Meaning that the positioning or the placement that you give to this individual will determine the kinds of reward that you get from them. So yes, your mentor may be your friend, but it does not change the fact that you must position yourself in the context of that friendship so that you can be able to receive. You do not want to get to that point where you've become so familiar uh, with, with your mentor to a degree that you cannot even learn or receive from them. So it is important for you to be friends with your mentor. It is very important for you to be friends with your mentees. But at the same time, that access should be guarded very carefully to ensure that you can still be able to receive and you can be able to pour out through that relationship. So I just wanted to leave that uh, with you to think about that, yes, it is possible to be friends with your mentors. Um, the context of placing a mentor far and above um, where you can reach is just not even, in my opinion, it's not even healthy. It's not, um, because what happens in those cases is that you place someone so far above you that um, what they say becomes law. 
and you, you, you don't get so much benefit from that. So I, I will say let's reevaluate our relationships, make the most of it so that we can all grow and become stronger and, and fulfill each individual's purpose. So God bless you. Thank you for joining me for another moment of Private Transformation Minutes. And I will be um, following up later today with um, some attributes um, of what a great friendship um, either with a mentor or a peer ought to look like. So um, I'm just going to sign off here. Go ahead and grab some breakfast. And please share this video. These um, thoughts are very provoking. They're very challenging. They're very encouraging. I've heard a lot of very good news about about these. So please share them on your timelines. Go to our page, privatetransformation.com or Private Transformation Network on Facebook. Like our page, join what we're doing, share these videos, um, and discuss the topics. I'd like to hear from you. Tell me, uh, what kind of benefit does this give to you? What kind of topics would you like us to start looking at in the next few weeks? And then as we do so, we believe that you'll be blessed. So thank you so much for joining me, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.